Howdy everyone and welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian and today we have an awesome hips and heart practice for you. So this one is yummy, it's delicious, and I highly suggest, or I do suggest, <laughs> that you grab a dish towel or a bathroom, a, like a little bathroom towel, or this is a cloth napkin, even a pillowcase will work, to serve as your makeshift at home yoga strap. So grab your tool and then hop into something comfy and let's get started. my darling friends, let's begin seated on the ground. As always, if you know that it's best for you to sit up on a little blanket or block or pillow, then go ahead and lift the hips so that you can sit up nice and tall. In time, you'll find with regular and in particularly in particular daily practice, it'll be easier and easier to sit on the ground, sit up nice and tall. So just be thoughtful and kind and honor where you're at today. <clears throat> All right, when you're ready, we're gonna actually uncross the ankles and we're gonna bring the left heel in and then the right heel so that the feet are side by side and not crossed. And then you can <clears throat> take whatever little movements you need here so that you can sit up as tall as you can. And then don't worry about the, the shape, what it looks like if you feel a little off kilter um, that's why we're here to practice, to create balance between the left and the right side of the body. So if you feel like you look like this, don't worry, you know, only I'm the one putting this on YouTube, <laughs> unless you're taping yourself. Just a little reminder, as we sometimes come into these simple shapes, we already start to create this narrative or these, this thought line of, you know, I'm not doing it right, or I'm so off, or I'm not flexible enough. So just, just a little guidance to take note of that and then don't worry about what it looks like. Just focus on the shape. That's purely what this is all about. Focusing on the sensation, how it feels. And it's a great reminder at the beginning of today's practice because today's practice is all about tending to the heart space. We're gonna open up through the shoulders, kind of get you feeling nice and broad and lifted through the chest and then also tending to tight hips. So these two can run in tandem. And we'll see what's up. <clears throat> Starting with the breath, big inhale. And exhale. Next time you inhale, imagine your breath going in through your nose and traveling down towards this heavy area, the groin, the hips, the bum, the legs. Just imagine the breath traveling down, whatever that means to you. Cool, and then relax. And then again, instead of the breath going up, imagine it going down, <clears throat> excuse me, down towards the hips. Hmm. Awesome, then take one more deep breath in. And this time, exhale, relax the shoulders down. See if you can sit up out of the base of the spine, whatever that means to you, a little bit more. So you might even feel like actual space in the lower belly and the side body. Maybe you thought you were sitting up as tall as you could, but now you found half an inch more. And then from here, we're gonna grab your towel or whatever you, you picked, a pillowcase, whatever. And you're gonna take one end and then the other so it's nice and taut. And you're gonna take it right out in front. Um, notice which foot is in front. Oh, we both did, we all did the right. So notice how the right foot's in front. You're gonna activate those toes a bit so they're not soft. But from there, you're gonna sit up nice and tall. And from here, we're gonna inhale, draw the knuckles all the way up towards the sky. And then exhale all the way back down in front of the heart. Inhale, thighs grow heavy as you reach up. And then exhale, back in line with the shoulders, the heart. Keep it going, inhale. And exhale. And each time you lift up, you can aim to gain more space in the belly and the side body and the lower back and get really heavy in your lower body, your legs from the waist down. Let's do one more. Inhale, wrap the shoulder blades around, knuckles up towards the sky and back. Nice, and then exhale, hands in line with the heart. Beautiful. Now we're gonna go 
Inhale all the way up and then over towards the side, but you could guess that. We're gonna keep the thighs, the legs really heavy. So this is where it's important to not fo focus on the shape, but just the sensation. So only go as far as you feel in control. Legs grounding down, hug the lower ribs in, breathe deep. So I could go here, but then I'm gonna lose this connection. So staying connected through the upper abdominals, lower belly, legs grounding down. Beautiful, inhale, come back up to center and right onto the other side. From the waist down, really heavy, and then lifting up out from there. Keeping the chest lifted, heart lifted, inhale. Exhale, back to center, and then slow and with control, don't give up, stay present. Building endurance, beautiful. From here, we're gonna slowly just bring the knuckles in to touch each other. You can hold on to your tool and then release, open the palms. Palms just rest gently in your lap. Great, nice, beautiful, conscious, dare I even say, meditative breath here. Just trying to paint the picture, so inhale. Breath travels down and exhale, we let it go. Inhale, breath travels down. And exhale, we let it go. Beautiful. Grab your towel or pillowcase, send the knuckles back out, and here we go. We're gonna inhale, you're gonna draw the arms all the way over towards the left side, requiring you to get really heavy in the top of the right thigh. And you're gonna be think you're gonna think about drawing a big rainbow or a semicircle all the way up. And then over towards the right. Beautiful. Come back through center, round through the spine. Great, and then just repeat that nice, soft, easy movement. See if you can keep the lower body nice and heavy. Keep the sternum lifted, beautiful. Bring it back to center. Inhale, reach up, check it out, listen carefully. Keep reaching, nice, taut, Towel here, you're gonna sit back on the sits bones, bring the toes forward, and then you're gonna reverse the legs. So right heel comes in, left leg now comes in front. And again, we activate energy in those left toes, activate down, arms are getting tired. Here we go, inhale, lift up, breathe down as you lift up. And then exhale, lower, hands in line with the heart. Inhale, lift it up. And exhale, lower, heart lifted. Inhale, reach up. You got this, lengthen through all four sides of the torso and exhale, hands in line with the heart. And inhale, reach up. Beautiful, exhale, send the, the napkin pillowcase over towards the right. Beautiful, inhale, come back to center. Exhale, navel draws in for core support over towards the left. Legs are strong. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, back down with control. Then here we go, knuckles come in towards each other. And then rest, open through the palms, soften. Upper, uh, upper back body is activated, but the shoulders and the arms, hands, wrists relax. Close your eyes if you dare, take an inhale. And soft, easy exhales you breathe out, just letting it go. Inhale in again. And exhale, let it go. Beautiful. Grab your tool, send it back out. Here we go, we're gonna <clears throat> keep the lower body heavy as you slowly draw it over towards the right. Inhale to come up through center. Big semicircle around. And then here, now that you kind of know what you're doing, you can really exaggerate chin to chest, rounding through. Beautiful, then all the way back up, keep it going. Focusing on the sensation over the shape. Ah. Peek at me when you need to. Otherwise, feel it out. Strong lower body, heart lifted. Pay attention to the sensation in the hips. 
cool. And then the next time you're up, inhale, look up. And then exhale, knuckles come together, flip the script, relax it. Oh, awesome. Tuck the chin into the chest. Maybe you take a couple moments here on your own to check in with the head, maybe nodding the head yes or no, or maybe soft, easy circles with the nose. And you're gonna take your piece of fabric, <laughs> whatever you chose, put it to the side. And you sit up nice and tall, inhale in, exhale, you're gonna shift back onto your sits, bone again. sits bones again. A little bit of Texan came out there. And you're gonna bring the, the big, two big toes to touch, you're gonna interlace the fingertips behind your tail. Beautiful, so we're in a supported boat here, finding a nice heart opener here as you activate the upper back body. If you want a little more core stimulation, just release the fingertips, bring them forward. But what we're wanting to do is keep this nice broad chest here. So if you can't do that with the fingertips lifted, then just go ahead and interlace and hold your hands behind your thighs. Breathing deep here, keep lifting from the armpit chest, you got it. One more cycle of breath. Fabulous, then from here, we're gonna bring the feet to the ground nice and easy, bring the fingertips back, finger, uh, palms back. Fingertips are gonna point in towards your body. Inhale in, exaggerate this lift in the heart, so find a nice juicy back bend here. You're gonna imagine you're squeezing an imaginary block between your legs, heels are in line with your hips. Then carve a line with your nose forward. Be gentle up and back, exaggerating this back bend here just a bit more. Nice, and then if it feels okay here, you might drop to one forearm and then the other. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, crown of the head reaches back. We're not letting it dip all the way back here. Nice and in control, building strength. Mindfully breathe deep. Wonderful, wonderful. Inhale in, lift the chest. Exhale, if you're on your elbows, press back up to the palms. And then from here, we're gonna kick the right foot up and we're gonna cross it over the top of the left thigh. And you'll know right away, okay, hello. If you need a little more, then you're just gonna use your hands here to lift the bum up and walk it a little bit closer towards your heel. Then from here, you can turn the fingertips out. You can keep them turned in. You can come onto the forearms. The goal is to maintain the lift in the heart while cultivating this extraordinary opening in the hip, okay? So when the heart begins to collapse here, that's when you need to maybe take a deep breath and shift. When you feel like the heart is lifted and you can feel the sensation in your right hip, breathe deep. And if it's too much, you can back off by creating more space between your left heel and your left glute. If you need a little more, scooch it on in. Sit up nice and tall. Remember, the invitation is to keep the heart lifted as you open the hip here. Nice, take a deep breath in, inhale. Exhale, check it out. Back onto the forearms. Keep the right ankle where it is. You're gonna come all the way onto your back. You're gonna grab your dish towel. Excuse me, while I make an adjustment. And then from here, you're gonna uncross your right leg, bring it all the way up towards the sky. Bring your dish towel around the back of the hamstring or the back of the calf or around your foot for using a little at-home yoga strap. And you're gonna breathe deep here, pressing your foot or your calf or your hamstring into the towel and then giving it a little resistance by pulling it in towards your body. Breathe deep here. Yogi's choice, I'll give you the option. You can extend through that leg if it feels awesome. Otherwise, you can just keep it nice and firmly planted. You gotta bring the breath, nice, full, deep breaths. Great, take one more big inhale here. 
Then exhale, you're gonna take both ends of your towel into your right hand and bring your left hand either to the top of the left hip crease or if that leg is extended, just bring it right to the top of the right, left thigh, excuse me. Yes, then inhale in, snuggle the shoulder blades underneath your heart space, keep the heart open, present, alive. Inhale, exhale, soft bend in your right knee first before you even move. Micro bend here. Not so much here or here, but right here. And then inhale, lift the chest, prominent heart opener here, nice and easy. And then exhale, keep the left side of the body heavy as you slowly turn your right toes out and slowly open, open, open through that right hip. You're gonna have to really move slow here to keep that left hip grounding. Beautiful, you got it. And then I'm hitting a wall here, which is nice, so I can use it to support me, but you can begin to straighten that leg in time. If this is really new to your body, you're starting to feel it, maybe feel a little tremble, a little shake, breathe deep and keep the knee bent, okay? Breathing deep. And if you're like, oh my gosh, I'm not even close, just remember I've been like practicing for like 15, 20 years, so don't, don't worry about a thing. Breathe deep. I swear I'm not tone deaf. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> Makes me want to sing it again, right? But it's not about me, so I'm not going to. Inhale. Use an exhale, a sharp exhale. So activate an exhale to bring awareness to your center. So navel draws in. If you've ever done the shh thing with me, it's that. Shh brings you back. So you're moving from your middle back to center. And then we're actually gonna go right back to where we came, where we started. So you're gonna bend the left knee, release your towel, cross it over. Ah, gorgeous. Inhale in, exhale, release. We're gonna use our breath, even in the transition here, to inhale, exhale, lift up onto one elbow, then the other. Find that heart opener here, lift your chest. Fabulous, then press up onto the palms, back up onto the palms, and we'll give ourselves a little space to start on the second side. So as you're ready, fingertips in towards your body, press into the palms. You'll kick your left leg up this time and cross it over. So this one's gonna be different, based on a lot of things. Could be based on other activities you're doing, just based on the right and left side of the body, something you do regularly, so stay really present. And then here's the catch 22 today. Normally I'd be like, okay, hip day, but ah, heart too. So lift the chest, actively work to lift, 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 wrap your shoulder blades around. And then again, if you need more, you can come closer. If you need to back off a little bit, it's a very kind, loving move to do just that. You can experiment, if it's hurting your wrist, you can experiment with turning the fingertips out. Just keep your heart lifted. Breathing deep or coming onto the forearms here. Breathing deep. Active in the toes. Sitting up nice and tall. Working in this way is gonna just change your game in, in so many activities where we're not isolating body parts, but we're thinking of it as one moving unit. It's, it's what creates the coordination of a dancer. It's certainly helped me with my running, strength training. If you do powerlifting, you know you can't just work on one part. It has to be a whole package deal. So that's the idea here, is you lift your heart for one more breath. And then if you aren't there already, let's come onto the elbows, nice and slow. Take your time and come onto your back, nice and slow. And then grab your dish towel or your strap. And you're gonna bring it behind the left thigh as you straighten left leg, left calf, or around the foot. And just notice how this one's different. If you went on the foot for your right, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a good place to start for your left. So you could work your way there. Now return to the breath. And 
and check in with your heart space. Snuggle the shoulder blades underneath your heart space. So a good, if you're here, that's not, this is not a heart opener. <laughs> so see if you can work to snuggle shoulder blades underneath and if you need to back off a little, maybe you do that there. Keep the shoulders plugging in. One more breath, you're doing great. Fab, and then bring your strap over into your left hand. Keep the heart lifted, shoulders plugging down. Right hand's gonna come to the top of the right hip crease or right thigh. You can always extend that leg if you haven't already and you wanna give it a go. Inhale in first, breathe into the belly. Nice diaphragmatic breath. Exhale, start by bending that left knee. Very important, soften, soften here. So we don't wanna overdo it here. Great, inhale. Exhale, let's give it a go. Turn the left toes out. Move nice and slow. How slow can you go? Nice and slow, paying attention to how it feels. Turning the left toes out. Nice, generous bend in the left knee as much as you need. Keep your right hand on the top of that right hip crease to remind you to work both right and left sides of the body. It's definitely core activation here as you keep right shoulder, right elbow, right hip down, down, down. And then maybe you find your, your edge and you just pause and breathe deep. Maybe in time you work to straighten that leg. Breathing deep. And wherever you are, take one more cycle of breath. And then bend that knee, bring it back in, move from your center, your core, all the way back. Awesome work. We're gonna release the strap, bend the right knee, come right back to where you started. Left ankle crossed over the right. Yes, beautiful. One more breath here, inhale. And then exhale, stay on your back. You're just gonna uncross. Left foot comes to the ground, walk your heels up. Coming into bridge pose, fingertips down, snuggle the shoulder blades underneath your heart space, toes pointing forward. Great, set yourself up. And then once again, imagine that imaginary block between your legs. So there's a squeezing here. And when you're ready, palms face down, snuggle the shoulder blades underneath, and here we go, lift off. Lifting hip points forward, up. Knees, shins, moving forward. Nice, strong footing. Make your way up, keep your gaze up towards the sky, and we'll interlace the fingertips behind the back, lift the hips up, again, shins forward. Chest to chin, breathe deep, chin to sky, shins forward. One more breath, chest to chin, chin to sky, shins forward. And then slowly releasing the fingertips, nice and slow. How slow can you go? Make your way down. Nice. Pause here for just a moment. Close your eyes, inhale in. Exhale out. Great, walk the feet together, nice and easy. Slowly opening the knees wide. Supta Baddha Konasana or reclined cobbler's pose. From here, you're gonna gently bring your right hand to your belly and your left hand to your heart. Ending with this nice passive hip stretch, breathing deep, heart's nice and open, skin of the forehead is soft. Close your eyes, soften your jaw, and breathe. As you're ready, take a deep inhale and use your exhale to gently move your fingers, release the hands and bring them to the outer edges of your legs, your thighs. Press into the feet, bring the knees together nice and slow. And then we'll extend one leg out and then the other. 
Take any movement that feels good here. If you're ready for Shavasana, just go right to it, finding stillness. You can take your dish towel if you like, if you're comfortable, and you can cover your eyes with it for your relaxation. Yeah, baby. Getting my at-home yoga practice on. You can also get an eye pillow for your home practice. All right, this is where we're gonna end today. I love you so much. Thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me and with all of the amazing people around the world who are practicing together. Carving out time and space to be with ourselves so that we can be the best version of that person, that spirit. Please let us know how you did today, how you're feeling, anything at all in the comments down below. I love you so much. From my heart to yours, be well. Namaste. Mm -hmm.